Hi, Todd Vandenberg here with Vandenberg Capital Management and another Uncommon Sense update. So the last week, the markets were volatile, this time to the upside. That comes on the heels of a May that was, by any measurable standard, no bueno. The markets were down across the board. It was just not any good, and it's primarily because of the concerns over um, China tariffs, a China trade war, and now additional tariffs that we may be placing on Mexico uh, as a result of them allowing people to basically walk through their country and come up to our borders, and they're not really stopping them uh, in Mexico. And so, you know, President Trump has said that starting June 10th, there will be a 5% tariff, and every month after that, that Mexico doesn't do something about the, the people coming through their country, we'll be adding 5% to it. So the you know, pundits of perpetual pessimism have decided that all of this stuff is, is just, it's the end of the world. And that's sort of um, uh, reinforced by the fact that ADP came out today and said that the number of jobs that they anticipate being added to the economy in May is next to nothing. Um, it was expected that there would have been about 173,000 jobs added. And again, if ADP is right, uh, the number of jobs that they see uh, being added will be the lowest number since 2010. So I want to spend a second talking about that because the fact that the U.S. economy adds or doesn't add new jobs should really be taken uh, in combination with the number of outstanding jobs available in the U.S. And according to the JOLTS data, that's the job openings data from the Department of Labor, according to, to that data, the most recent number shows that we've increased the number of outstanding jobs or job openings to almost 7.5 million. That's just amazing, uh, amazingly high number. It's six to 700,000 more job openings than 12 months ago. And so it, it's not a shock to me to, to see that maybe the economy doesn't add a bunch of new jobs because it needs to absorb many of the open jobs that are currently available. And you got to ask yourself, if, if the economy really was going to heck in a handbasket, why would employers have so many job openings? Because you don't hire somebody if you don't think you have enough stuff for them to do that ultimately generates a profit for your business. And so if, as we saw, you know, over a couple of months ago, you know, we had some contraction in the job openings number, and then the U.S. economy added more jobs. So these numbers are, are really important to watch in, in combination because, again, as I said, if in March there were 7.5 million open jobs, then you fast forward a couple of months, it's not a surprise that you know, we haven't added that many jobs in May. But ADP's numbers are sometimes unreliable. Uh, they, they basically got it wrong last month. So who's to know, you know they, they were way over on their estimate last month, and who knows, they may be way under this month. We're gonna watch the data and, and see where it goes. But we do think it's important that people not make you know, short-term investment decisions based upon you know, just the, 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 the media headline and you know, the, the nonstop negativity that we're seeing in the media because it's just not sort of the reality of the world. Most people, when you talk to them, economics and economically, they're doing fine. Wages are continuing to rise uh, and the unemployment rate you know, continues to remain low. Corporate earnings are fine. They, they are not what they were last year, but I've talked about that. So just be careful, as you see in the media, especially about you know, the, the, the trade wars, to not get too overly um, pessimistic or optimistic about anything that's perceived as good news or bad news. Investing is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You wanna own good things uh, you know, when, when it's the time to own them, and if the numbers say that they're no longer good to own, that's when you sell them. You don't sell them based upon tweets because tweets are not reality because the next tweet might be something positive. And if you sold based upon a negative tweet, now you're sitting there wondering, well, now what do I do? Do I wait till the market comes back down so that I can get back in? It, if, you, if you let emotion drive your investment decisions, you're really not gonna be satisfied with the outcome. 
if anybody has any questions about this or how their portfolio um, might be allocated to the, you know, uh, in, in, in accordance with a well-diversified portfolio model, please give us a call, send us an email, uh, you know, uh, make a reply to this, to this video. We'll certainly happily engage you any way that we can and, and try to help in any way that we can. That's what we're here for. So that was your update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, give us a share, and I'll be back next week with another Uncommon Sense update. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to be the first to hear of more Uncommon Sense updates like these, please click the subscribe button below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again. Thank you.